key importance of leaders themselves understanding how the introduction of digital technology to an industrial world uh, is requiring a change of thinking, a change of culture, uh, a change of the way we approach how we are going to add value and services to customers. So it's changing a lot for two reasons. First, it's changing the volume. We need more engineers. Why? Because now using very cheap sensor, you can get data from all possible machines, take this data and make new insights and bring a full new wave of productivity. And for this, we need engineers to make this application alive, to make this solution real. Second thing, we'll need also different kinds of engineers. We we'll need engineers able to master data science. Data science is the art of finding the needle of value in a stack of data. So it's a mix of mathematics, physics, industry knowledge. I think digital technology uh, is beginning to show businesses how they can address challenges that pure technology historically has not been able to deal with. Um, the way we start this journey with companies is to really try to understand um, what are the challenges that they're facing, which they don't believe they can resolve through traditional methods. And this begins a discussion around how the use of data um, and the use of analytics on data can change outcomes. And this is about productivity change. It's about productivity improvement. Eventually, you'll get to a stage where you will think about how digitization changes uh, right the way from your supply chain through into your manufacturing process, through into the products you make, through into the services you provide with those products, through to supplying customers with outcomes that are different. So it's a, it's a really a new journey, uh, and you have to bring uh, your customers and your employees with you. So it's changing a lot. For example, uh, if you want to develop an application in the cloud, it's a different architecture. You need different skills, and I would say any developer who have been not trained in the last six, seven years need to learn something new. So you'll need new talents. Uh, you also need new uh, soft skills. The industry is moving towards more agile, more decentralized software. The engineer is not anymore the guy doing just lines of code, he's interacting with the customer, he's really part of an agile team interacting with the customer and making a specific application. And so the pure engineer is uh, replaced with an engineer with very strong skills but also able to interact and be part of the solution, part of the design, not just the one developing lines of code. Ninety-something percent of manufacturing equipment uh, is legacy, it's old equipment. Um, and a lot of it comes with embedded software uh, support that can give you data on performance, data on heat, data on temperature. Um, but what digital technology can do and what we're trying to do at GE with the Predix platform is create a, a means whereby you can aggregate that data and you can begin to develop analytics tools that will give you insights around the performance of technology that you couldn't get a number of different data sets and looking at them in isolation. It's also attractive, it's a new way, very agile way to develop uh, software because it's smaller team, closer to the problem and it uh, uh, also goes quicker. You can develop an application in a few days or in a few weeks and, and new people love it. So the problem is as of today they don't necessarily are aware of it. Um, but. You might not know it, but uh, according to Gartner, in 2020, the, industri the industrial IoT will be as big or even bigger than the consumer IoT. So you don't see it every day, but in economic terms, it's much bigger. So it's really the great place to go right now. In this model, it's much more difficult to have uh, an organization in which to offshore the technology and just keep the fronting to the customer. You need to have the whole team close to the problem, close to the customer. Mm -hmm.